Alright, welcome to Bear's Den, and we are here for the spotlight for Unique Enchantments Utilities. If you're looking for Unique Enchantments, there is a card up in the corner, and you can click on that, and that will take you to the Unique Enchantments 112 spotlight, which the 116 version is very similar, just with some uh, bug fixes to it. Now, there is an announcement, and that is that Unique Enchantments is updated to 116. And the updated version with the fixes and changes that have been made is in is on 112, 114, and 116. And the Unique Enchantment Utilities, which is what we're doing the spotlight for today, is also released on 112, 114, and 116. So, now, let's get into what unique enchantment utilities adds so you have two enchantments and you also have two curses now there is a few bugs in this mod it's a fresh release um like these do not show up red so they look like curses they actually look like uh, enchantments um there's another one we'll see here in a minute and i need some food You'll figure out why here in just a minute. Alright, so let's look at Slipner's Grace. This is for horse armor only. So therefore it is for horses only. So we're going to put this on here. This is only level 1. It's going to cost you 1 level per level of the book. So if you do level 3, it's going to cost you 3 levels. And we put this on our horse. And the horse is going to gain speed the longer you ride it. And I will save you guys the time of not taking the horse out to go ride it. And uh, But it slowly gets faster as you ride your horse. And it will get faster sooner the higher the level the book is. Alright, so the next thing is called Thick Pick. You have two levels of that. It's two and a half times faster, three and a half times faster for level two. And what you do with this is you're going to put it on a diamond pick. Um, because the diamond pick is able to mine obsidian. And yes, the, the unique stored thing should be a number. That's a gnome bug that is... Uh, on the list to be fixed for the next update. So just ignore that it's not a number. I'll explain what the number is supposed to be in a second. Um, but we're going to put this on our pick. And then we're going to need some gems. There is a config for you to add in other gems if you'd like. Like if you have rubies or sapphires or whatever from another mod. You can add them in through the configs. I suggest you check out the configs for unique enchantments and utilities um the developers have done a great job of making sure that for mod pack creators and everything there's plenty of configs there for you to uh, mess with so the gems are set to one for quartz three for emeralds and eight for diamonds so if we take one quartz here and we shift and right click you'll see I do not have any left this has consumed it and that number down there should now be one that means that I can mine one block that is 20 or higher on its hardness so obsidian or if you have some mod that adds something other than obsidian that's hard or as hard as obsidian it'll work for that as well but basically this is for mining obsidian so if I use a regular diamond pick you will notice you know just how fast it or slow in this case that it actually mines it and then if I use the thick pick you'll notice it will mine it way faster and this also does stack with efficiency so if you put efficiency on your pick along with it then it'll go way faster 
All right, so that is the thick to enchant. Now let's look at the curses. So the first one we're going to look at is Famine's Odom. And this you can get on any tool or any armor. We are going to put it on leggings today. And now we are going to you hear that. It already started working. So basically what that does is it will randomly eat food out of your inventory. And if you do not have any food in your inventory, when it tries to eat it, it will hurt you. So you'll always have to have food and this thing's just going to keep eating it. And apparently it makes a uh, munching sound or a burping sound when it does so. So you'll know that it's stolen some of your food. And now we have Rocket Man. So you have Rocket Man 1, 2, and 3. And we are going to need some rockets. So I am not a 1, uh, 16 type of person. So I know very little about elytras. If I get any of this information wrong, please forgive me. Oh, I think it just ate another one. Um, but I do believe that fireworks will make you go uh, when you're in the air. Well, what Rocket Man does is it will make you go whenever you right click a rocket. Even if that means you're pointing straight ahead, you're going to run into a tree. No hopping, no jumping, no running to take off. But you can also go straight up. And then you can fly. So it is a curse, but it's a curse with benefits. So you just have to be careful and make sure that you're not pointed at a tree when you click it. And that is Unique Enchantments Utilities. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, there goes some of my food again. Uh, that is a very annoying curse. Um, if you have any questions on the mod itself, please go to the curse page and ask the developers. They do a great job of answering their questions very quickly. I am not a mod dev. I'm just showing the mod off. So I may not be able to answer all of your technical questions. I can get the questions to them, but it's preferred that you... Put them on the curse page. So that is it. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you learned a little bit about this mod and enjoy it. And make sure you hit the buttons and do the things. And I will see you guys next time.